Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Darkest Dungeon, where we have some new viewers to introduce, and a little things, or a few things to talk about before we uh, really dive in here. I have gotten a bunch of name requests, but I think it was mostly from the same few people, so if I missed you, just yell at me in these comments, and we'll see what we can do about it. We have uh, some new viewers here. Yefritor is actually not a new viewer, he was a... Uh, in my last Darkest Dungeon series from early in the uh, early access, he was a bounty hunter then. He's turned into a highwayman now, or you could say he's gone rogue. Although he's obsessed with food, so congratulations. Let's see here. I didn't name anyone the Vestal, which apparently, if you look at my graveyard from uh, previous missions, being a named Vestal means you're going to die. So we don't want to do that. Uh, then we have Shazberry and uh, the dog, who I don't know what the name's going to be. You're a known cheat. You're also scattering, which is a little bit rough because this is a ranged skill and blackjack is melee. So we'll probably want to try and get rid of that because uh, heal skills are pretty good and plus damage in the cove is good as well. I know uh, we also had someone who wanted to request being a jester, but you, Maz, and Bad Yu, you seem to be the most persistent people in not dying. So Harlequin, I made you a uh, plague doctor because well, you seem like you want to drink all the time and yet you're bloodthirsty. So that's all very well and good. Importantly, we have some people that are very happy about going to the cove, which is pretty nice and possibly a little bit of foreshadowing. Now, what we do have going on with our build right now is that we can actually upgrade our skills and everything to level three but with some recent post-release patches and everything you're going to see that experience is not so much an issue the bigger limiting factor is going to be gold 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 so we're going to today talk a little bit about a good way to actually try and go about getting gold because as much as i'd love to go to the cove and get some things there it's going to be a little tough as you can see we're starting to get we still have the sonorous prophet available we still have the veteran hag boss but i think i want to try actually doing a short mission this time and let's see here should we go to the ruins or should we go to the warrens probably to the warrens that's actually a really good trinket i like it so right now it looks like we have uh hans i don't think i want to send you in there again although it sucks that uh They'll only go to the brothel, and the brothel right now is full. But we will send... Let's see, who can we send? I feel like we should send some good old-fashioned viewers here. But I did want to say real quick, and I don't know if I made this point previously or not, that I am going to change up how I do some of the naming here. This will be the last push for like this or people in the video. From here on out, I'm not going to give people a viewer name to any of these characters unless they reach level one and later on I'll bump it up to level two if only because sometimes when characters get totally screwed up after one mission like Wishwadi and Hands for instance the better course of action is not to even waste money on trying to treat them but to just let them go wander into the wilderness and maybe that'd be some fun irony to say sorry viewer you get to wander the wilderness forevermore but that's not what we're gonna do today so let's see here we do have Digby and we have Wishwadi we do have uh Bellicote, I guess you can be our healer for this. And who can I take? I don't know if I can do an actual full viewer run today. Let's see here. Maybe, you know what? Maybe with Shaz. As good as as good as the Hound Master is as much as I need another one. I think you may need to go to uh, the treatment ward. That's Hal and Dan. Hal and Dan has a lot of problems. But I want to go ahead and get rid of scattering. I know I shouldn't be spending money on level zero characters, but that's why I'm saying the rule starts now. For our viewers, well, you know how it is. Maybe. I don't know for sure. So who do we have? Who can we take? Harlequin? We can take you a little bit later. I kind of want to do a mostly newbie mission for this short one. So I guess we'll take... I almost named Harlequin the Leper because I thought that'd be some interesting irony. And then we need someone who's ranged. So we do have Yefretor here. He's going to need some experience anyway. So we might as well do that. And while we're here, I know he's level 1 and technically I shouldn't be upgrading my stuff so much at level 1. Wrong buttons again. Okay, I'm probably just go ahead and upgrade some of the gear. So Yefretor, and I kind of want to think about ways to do some of this some of these skills a little bit differently but for now I'm gonna need my gold for lots of other stuff 
like I said, this is a short mission. It gives us some portraits. It gives us a pretty good leper item. And I did see the advice from Varlor saying not to give your newbies items early, and that may save you some stress and trouble. And I agree, that could be a uh, that could be a really sound strategy. The one side of it, though, at least from where I'm sitting, is that giving them some items, and I don't really have a lot in the way of super valuable items. I have a few ancient items, but uh, the other side of it's pretty simple. If you give items to some of your people, then like not giving the bounty hunter item makes sense. We can give them a little bit of speed. It does increase the survivability by quite a bit, and we'll take Beast because we're going into the Warrens. I don't know why I just closed that. We should have some flash powder here and uh, anything else worth my time. Maybe something to increase some speed some more. Yeah. Which leaves us once again with our healing trinket. I need to get more healing trinkets. But I don't really have the gold to just start going for the uh, the person who sells the items in town. Because gold's going to be enough of an issue as is. Alright, what do we want to do here? Okay, Blight and Bleed would be good, but we're going to the war, and so Disease Resist is going to be an issue. Uh, we'll give you this. See if that takes us a little bit further. So here's our team. It should be a short, simple mission into the Warrens. Get another Leper item that I already have, but get some portraits because that's what I need. Let's provide. And I will take one torch at you all's uh, advice once again, just to burn a few things here. Don't know if I need to take all the food, but I'll do it anyway, because it's not actually that much gold to do so. Okay, I'll take some of these. Probably don't need too many more of those. Probably don't even need more than two bandages. We'll take we'll take one key just in case we get a critical scout. We probably won't. We'll take some anti-venom and some holy water. And we're taking one torch. Might actually take two because they do. There are things that do appear randomly that you can actually burn. So let's go ahead and dive into the Warrens. A pretty green team, but not a totally new team. Let's get started. Well, here we go. Back to the Warrens. We're gonna pinch out the lights as we have our total greenies, Maudits and uh, Vaughn. So we only have one viewer today. That was kind of the opposite of what I intended when I started recording, but that's just kind of how it goes. And like I said. For some reason, I still don't have all of these things, like, really memorized. But if we do this one with bandages... There you go. Somehow bandages will protect your arms, and that's all well and good. Let's see here. Just gotta make sure everything's plugged in and good. And we already have our first fight. And we're already surprised. Fortunately, we didn't get shuffled around too badly. Alright, so pew pew. Wow, okay. I'm saying wow, okay, not because of the screen here, because two shouting things is actually kind of expected by this point. Lots of money, which is another really nice reason to play dark missions on this. Because the theory is that you send them down with no provisions, and then if they make it, great. If they don't, they don't. But one thing I'm going to have to deal with right now here is we have a uh, meat cart. And I have another computer that's pulled up, that had something on the screen here, but of course it essentially disappeared, so we'll use medicinal herbs. And look at all this food we have. Wow. Suddenly it's like we're on a long mission, so meat wagon. It's all the same. But yeah, I do have a really, really old laptop. And I say really old. Like, I don't think of it as that old, but it, it was purchased in 2008. So it is legitimately old. That unfortunately... It's like, it, I use it as my second monitor for work, as well as much as I need to. And of course, right now, the other thing is like, I want to know why am I not getting power. The reason I'm not getting power is because it's not plugged in. Oh, it's like IT days once again. So, here we have this thing. Uh, let's give it to Maudit. I don't really want to burn it, so... Forever change the hero, and he's robust. Yay, disease resist. That's good. You don't really want to burn that. There is a little pile of stuff you can burn, which would be pretty good. And a trap. 
because of course we have no lights or no scope. Wow, that's a lot of damage. So no room battle here. We actually just wasted our time entirely. I guess not totally entirely. We do get to eat a little bit. We do get to bleed out a little bit. We do get to have 45 stress already. So that's all very good. Why does nobody ever want to be the leper? Alright. So now that we've gone totally the wrong way, but you can't check that first and then say, well, I'm just going to run around the other way. Stress is always going to be an issue. And if he gets way too stressed out, I always could just kick him. But I kind of need more frontliners eventually. This is what I love about other computers, by the way, is like all this crap that just I don't use is still popping up and being like, hey, this, hey, that, hey, you logged into Facebook once to work. Now we're going to just do this all the time. Wow, you guys are the hungriest damn team. I swear. By the way, hungriest, you can hear, of course, that my dogs have not eaten anything in so long are suddenly like, oh, you're talking? Nom, nom, nom. All the traps, apparently. Yeah, for Tor, you gotta uh, rogue it up and tell me if you're actually gonna, like, find a trap or something. <laughs> Alright. Well, we do have way too much food, so we might as well use it. Like, seriously, we are overfooded. Beyond belief. So you can hear all the swine singing in the background. And probably on mine, you can hear dogs going munch, munch, munch. More spiders. Way well, we're surprised by the spiders. Alright, could actually justify using Grape Shot Blast, but it's not going to kill anything. Alright, yeah, for Tor, you got marked and stunned. Good job resisting. Alright, now judgment is good. Especially when you dodge it. So that's going to be. Ooh, marked hit! That's not good. At least the blight got resisted. And I actually don't have the corpse clearing ability on this guy. So that's a little bit of a challenge. And we do have flashbang, but you can't use that from the front line. So Mod is just going to go for the kill. Twice. Actually, because I haven't trained any of his skills, he has collect bounty, but doesn't have the marking skill. Uh, we're just gonna... We're probably just gonna end up leaving that. Okay, you're full. Yeah, let's leave that and check this. And a little more things. Cool, now we get the scout. And this is possibly the last... Oh, no, we got two more rooms. One with another curio. So here's a torch. Still good to check. Because sometimes you can get things like that. We'll just go ahead and take the bust. We still need all of our relics. Alright, now here's a, the first real fight, I guess you could say. Especially since I did not change my party's position, which is a pretty significant derp as well. I have some moronic dogs. Everybody gets dodged. Alright, and you're going to pull the tour. Oh, good. So suddenly our lack of corpse clearing is going to be an issue, especially since our uh, good old leper's now in the back. Where he should be. Okay, move forward. One, that'll at least help the bounty hunter a little bit. Good, just push him back. Don't resist that. There we go. Look, just like we planned it, right? Was hoping for the crits. Get over here! No, let's dodge instead. That seems like a much better plan. Okay, so the uh, skill for... Let's see, we can't actually do too much here other than just prevent ourselves. Which is a great buff, but he would be really nice just for clearing these corpses. Now we're going to get... Oh, okay, I don't know how you dodge an incantation still after all this time, but I'm happy that Yefritor did. So we got... Gold. Push on to the task's end. Thank you for the tip, by the way, of you can actually use the items from up here. Uh, we already have a stun stone. 
And then here's a stack of books. Is this the right stack of books? I do not actually think it is. is... Yeah, this thing is just crapped out on itself. Isn't it fun? Yeah, it's the pile of scrolls that you want to deal with. Stack of books, and I'm just trying to check my list here. Ugh. Yeah, it's, I'm just, well, I could torch it. That's the one that I was thinking of, you use a torch and it stresses, but usually it doesn't really do too much. So here's one fight. We surprised them, thankfully. All right. Let's go and collect Bounty on the Slasher, please. May actually be setting up a uh, pretty good Grape Shot Blast. There we go. Oh, he'll leave a corpse. Good crit on the judgment, which is one of the things that's really nice. As we get a little bit of stress relief and everything else. What? He still had his combat buff. That is awesome. So, quick vomit. That's fine. I mean, gross, but fine. Might as well party heal. As once again, it's just funny. It's like I try and do things... I try and work sometimes, the animals go crazy. I try and sit quietly, the animals go crazy. We're actually able to collect everything, and we have a... Uh, we don't, we're not really going to need the buff from this, but we can at least get the buff. So, let's see. Uh, who do we want? Yeah, for tour, you're the only named person here, so go for it. Yay! Can't actually use holy water on it, but we got Warren's Explorer. Which is really nice. 20% scouting chance in the Warrens. Congratulations. You like piggies. That's what we've learned today. Okay, so more crests. Actually, doing pretty good on this. I'm going to assume there's one more curio. At least I'm going to assume we don't need the torches. It'll be something that requires a torch. Oh, well, it does something that requires a torch, but I don't think it actually gives you anything. If we uh, want to fight a Shambler, I guess we could have fought a Shambler. Somebody will say you're a wuss for not fighting a Shambler, but I'll just reference a video from a few episodes ago regarding uh, my my love of Shamblers. All right. Once again, I could have elected the buff there since it'll carry on to the fight next room. Apparently, speaking of fights, I have a uh, tiny dog and a tiny cat that are deciding to play a little too rough with each other. So that's fine. A thousand. I don't need that bandage. Okay, so here we are. Let's chow down real quick. Alright. Here we go. One more fight. Apparently all the room battles are this way. Might still be worth my time to revenge him. Okay, hook and slice. Not my favorite, but we'll see if we need it. No lucky crit today. That's too bad. That's really too bad. We want to stun the drummer. So at least we got that going for us. Let's go ahead and revenge first. This fight's going to last long enough to where revenge will matter. Minus 25% prot is kind of fun, but... So we got a little bit of bleed here. Drums of Doom! Which can crit, apparently. That's fun. Back to healing. Let's see. I'm just trying to hook. Okay, hook and slice. I never like using it because it never seems to hit. It's like you have an axe and you have a hook. Why are you trying to do both? And now we're going to have a, a lot of stress build up here. Let's see here, 78%, 73. Do we risk 5%? Sure. Spread that damage, get one kill. And now we got some uh, good stuff coming. Let's hew. That was nice. I mean, we still got corpses, but we can pull the guy. Okay. Let's actually see if we can take him out in the back. Nope. No good darkness crits today. Just lots of people that need to be single target healed. As unfortunately, Vaughn, you're going to have a lot of stress. And you have hemophilia. 
which means you are less bleed resistant, which means I may not have much of a choice for what to do with you. Oh good, let's not let's not pull a guy. That seems like a plan, so choppity chop. I mean you're doing good, you're holding your own. But some people after the first mission, it's once again not super gold efficient to keep somebody Oh my god, bleed resist that low is just nightmares too. We might be able to shuffle him here with better there we go. At least he's in range now. Almost got him. You missed the AoE on the stun guy. I love it. Let's just judge. There we go. Somebody hit. Somebody wins. And look at all the extra goodies we get. We actually have so many that we cannot hold all of them. We didn't even need any of the keys. 20 gold each. It's nice they give you the value of all these. 15 gold, 20 gold. Uh, 25 gold. Alright. Not the best trade off, but the trade off we're making. So, mission complete. For most of us, at least. Return to the Hamlet. Well, thank you, Ancestor, for complimenting us on that. We got 7,000 monies. We got a surprising amount of deeds for that mission, especially when I was coming here for the portraits. But yeah, pretty good run. And we do have some experience for everybody now. Let's see here, Vaughn. Uh, let's see here. Damage versus Unholy. Fast Healer. Beast Slayer for Bellico. That's exciting. Now I have to think about are we going to keep Vaughn? We may keep Modern anyway because bounty hunters are hard to find. Let's go back to town. So we're back in town. Shinobi's still missing. Koval's back. Robram's no longer paranoid. First thing though is that we want to get rid of these negative quirks. And both of these people. Let's see here. You actually. I don't know why I didn't send you in. I thought you couldn't go somewhere but let's maybe I just had a, made a terrible mistake so Hans you'll only go here congratulations wish Woody. apparently you will go wherever so hopefully we can cleanse you of that even though once again spending this on level zero not always the best let's sort by stress because we didn't have anybody break but I do think unfortunately Vaughn as a good as you were for a leper that one mission we're gonna have to start being harsher I can't just treat everybody here and between that's gonna need to be treated he does have some good quirks but we're just gonna dismiss you sorry Those without the stomach for this place must move on so let's see that leaves modded who's level one now uh, fear of beast which is not awesome but he is robust and uh, he is a Warren's tactician, so I guess we'll hold on to him for now. Let's see here. Bobrum, are you only going to be able to... Uh, you'll only drink, so I guess you'll have to uh, just drink now. And Bellicote, I think, is going to be okay. You'll only go the brothel too, though. And we are not going to be using our stuff to unlock the brothel slot right now, because you know that's what we need in town. So go here, mod it. Do I have the resources to actually reduce the cost? Yeah, it looks like it. A man right. in a robe, claiming communion with the divine. And we can increase the slots Madness. at some point. All right, so I'd say overall success. Like I said before, we do have some people that we can start sending to higher level missions, but I need to be farming a little bit more money. And the Nomad Wagon, I could start trying to upgrade it a little bit, but the bigger source of income is going to be from selling some duplicate trinkets and trinkets I don't use as well. Like even these little ones sell for thousands or so. That should be able to finance me upgrading my gear for the level 3 people. That was one of the biggest things about the last veteran mission I went to, is that I went into it with level 2 gear. If I had gone in with level 3 gear, I'm confident 
I wouldn't have lost one of my people. Maybe even been able to finish the mission. But hey, that's for another time for another video. This is Asher with Darkest Dungeon. Thanks for watching. If you want to be on the death roster, by all means, there are spaces available, including spaces in the graveyard. None that are filled today. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.